Um, I'm t I was told you work in blockchain technology. So you, um, you, you teach people how to use it and how to implement it. We have a, a, mostly a weekly show about blockchain. We advise people, we, we don't advise them uh, what to buy, what to sell. We just advise them and tell them how block te blockchain technology works, how crypto works. So you're, t you're doing that, you're telling that to the companies, right? Uh, awesome. So actually I'm the CEO and founder of 101 Blockchains. 101 Blockchains is a cross-industry community of the world's leading blockchain practitioners. We advance the profession of enterprise blockchain management. We are less focused about investment recommendations and the cryptocurrencies, but we are focused on the added value of distributed ledger technology, how we can improve supply chain efficiency, how we can improve transparency by creating a network of trust, a business networks. We are looking on use cases such as Walmart, Carrefour, utilizing blockchain for their supply chain to avoid food poisoning and to, re to, to, to improve the performance of the overall organization. Um, Basically, blo blockchain can be used for almost everything, right? Everything that involves a lot of data and it needs security. So, yeah, there was a lot of uh, hype around the term blockchain, but blockchain is definitely proven to be valuable, to be used around places where there is lack of trust. And if I ask you, do you trust your service providers? Do you trust your business colleagues? So we definitely see some lack of trust in the year 2019, 2020. Well, I trust them, but not 100%. The service providers, come on, not maybe 50% if they're good. So, yeah, so definitely what we say is that blockchain is all about shifting the power from the nodes to the edges and to make us the user valuable again. I don't want to remove the banks. I want to improve the banks. I want to, do, to build better customer services better utilization, to improve efficiency, to make us, the users, important again. Um, so it's not for everything, but definitely trade finance, supply chain, commerce, uh, retail, definitely proven already. Uh, the bank stuff, it's a, a sensible subject. Um, have you worked with any banks? Are there any banks? You don't have to tell me names. Are there any banks that are uh, right now implementing blockchain technology, especially for transfers? Because that's a problem. Transfers are slow bet between banks because of the SWIFT. Definitely, yes. I can say that almost all of them are already exploring blockchain in the past five years and doing, uh, executing more and more proof of concept. Even SWIFT, which is implementing across 11,000 banks is examining our free Corda blockchain. So there is a true understanding that by utilizing blockchain, we can enable uh, international uh, money transfer much faster, much cheaper, and much more secured. What's the most unknown type of implementation of blockchain that you know? Because I, I'm sure you know a lot. Yeah, I think Bitcoin is blockchain, but blockchain is much more than Bitcoin. Okay, that sounds about fair. Um, so you said you, you um, can you tell me one company you work here in Romania with? So you, you... Uh, it's my first visit to Romania, and I came as a speaker. So currently, we don't have any customer base within the country. Uh, which is the biggest country you work with? I mean, what, uh, the, the the country that has the most clients? The U.S. Yes. Okay, I was expecting something like Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan. There is a lot of activities from all uh, around the globe. Our content it, uh, is also translated to Spanish and Portuguese and even Russian, but the client base is mainly origin in the US. How about India? Because they're very fast growing. India is one of the leading countries to adopt blockchain technology. Even the country, the government, already adopted blockchain technology for the land registry. I think more than 80% is already running on distributed ledgers. And it's really fast because here in Romania it's really slow. When you want to register a piece of land, it takes weeks, maybe months. And if, you are, if, you, if you're building a house, there are, I think, 80% chances that you finish the house and one year after 
you have all your papers ready. Yeah, that's correct. It's one of the problems across all the globe. Um, and it's okay that it's slow. I am more looking to avoid uh, corruption, to avoid fraud, to avoid double spending. That's the main question. Do you think blockchain will help us avoid corruption and uh, fraud? Because I think every country on this continent is facing this on a lower or on a bigger scale. We can definitely decrease the number of cases by utilizing this technology as it's more secure, more transparent, and once it's written, it's immutable. Um, how about, can you hack blockchain? It's a great question because people uh, some, sometimes uh, look on the DAO, the DAO act, the Ethereum DAO act, but it just was an act of a smart contract, so you need to separate it to two different verticals. To act a smart contract or a decentralized application, or to, to act the blockchain network as itself. The blockchain as a, a technological layer, as a database, can be more secured than any traditional database. But decentralized applications are still very not uh, 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 advanced. We still need to do much more quality assurance to improve the, the testing. And the answer is yes, in some cases, depends which part of the, the, technology, the technological stack. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I have a lot of questions in my mind, but I think I'll, I'll wait for the next four or five years and then I'll ask you. Definitely, yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. So much. Thank you so much, Makani.